Welcome to TorBox Console. In this video, you will learn how to quickly set up your TorBox. Preset List The preset list can store multiple presets. You can switch presets to suit different software or work scenarios. TorBox Console comes with several preset templates for commonly used programs. You can download more user-made templates from our website and then import them into the TorBox Console. You can also create new presets here. If you use multiple presets, we suggest you turn on Auto Switch Mode and link each preset with the corresponding software to toggle between presets seamlessly. Whichever software you go, it will switch to the corresponding preset. Preset Settings TorBox has only 11 buttons and 3 knobs, yet it supports numerous functions since it allows single-click, double-click, combinations, etc. You can also set up the press of the knobs by assigning different functions to them. You can also assign different functions to two directions of the knobs. Let's try setting the top button as the pen tool in Photoshop. In the default templates, we have already imported the default shortcuts. You can simply browse or search the list. If you can't find the shortcut you need, simply press the buttons on the keyboard to map it on TorBox. In any other presets you've created or imported, press the keys on the keyboard to map shortcuts. Apart from shortcuts, TorBox Console also supports mouse functions or the combination of the mouse and the keyboard. For instance, here we set up the counterclockwise direction of the knob, choose mouse scrolling down plus the Alt key. Edit the tag to rename it so that we don't need to memorize the shortcut. Then we click the clockwise direction of the knob Map it as mouse scroll up plus the Alt key, give it a name, and done. If you want to delete the shortcuts, click this hamburger icon on the left side of the preset and choose Edit Tags. However complex the shortcut is, you can map it to one button on TorBox. You won't ever need to interrupt your painting to press a bunch of keys. The native integration with different creative software is one of our strengths. You can set not only keyboard shortcuts, but also the built-in functions that we are continuously developing. In TorBox Console, you can set up the built-in functions for corresponding software. For example, in Photoshop, we have the function to rotate the canvas. In Lightroom Classic, you can select the exposure slider and change the values without touching the mouse. Want more mouse commands? No problem. Apart from mouse single-click, double-click, and scroll, you can also set up mouse move and drag in our macro commands. In addition to the functions above, the macro function also allows text automation, file opening, jumping to web pages, and so on. Macro can be applied in many different scenarios. It automates the commands you've set and saves you a lot of time. For instance, you can use it to extract line art or batch color grade, all with one click. It can also be used to automate letter key commands. For example, in Rhino 7, set up a macro on the top key and create one group containing multiple letter commands. You just need to click the top button once. It will automate all of the letter commands one by one. You can also set multiple groups and register one group of commands per click. We have also developed the Tour menu. What is it? You can set up Tour menu on all buttons and add any functions, such as the built-in function, shortcut key, macro command, and more. Now, by simply clicking a button, you can access dozens or even hundreds of functions. The workspace and sliders in different software can be very contrasting. You can collect some of your favorite sliders and build your own color grading panel, or use it to build a tool panel, etc. In Tour Menu, you decide the operations methods, such as which button to select items, which button to execute commands, how to turn off the Tour Menu, etc. More features. Up Mode. Trigger the command after releasing the button. When the Up Mode is off, commands will be triggered right away at the click of the button. When the Up Mode is on, commands will be triggered only after the button is released. When selecting the combined keys, 
you can turn on up mode for the first key you click. For instance, for the combo of the top button and the knob, we usually click and hold the top button while at the same time turning the knob. Therefore, we should turn on the up mode for the top button so that it doesn't trigger commands right away when it is clicked. Rep mode. Send repetitive commands. To send repetitive commands, you can use our rep mode. For instance, in Photoshop, you can use it to keep performing the undo command. Speed adjustment. You can assign different speeds for the knobs. Think of it as if you're changing the scroll settings on your mouse to determine how many lines to scroll at a time. The speed control will do exactly that. Click the icon to switch between speed modes, the default fast speed, medium, or slow. Haptic touch. With our dual channel Bluetooth controller, Tourbox Elite also supports haptic touch. Turn on the global button and assign different levels to the knobs. You can also turn off the haptic touch function if you want. HUD. Turn on the HUD from the menu. The HUD will instantly display the current functions assigned to the kit section or the combinations of the kit section and other buttons. When you switch presets, the HUD will change as well. If you right-click the HUD, you can change its size and opacity. You can also change the console language, turn off software notices, open the guide to check out the shortcut layout, and more. Abundant features for brand new productive workflows. Tourbox Console. 